Hi everyone, this is Julia from the EGCC Library. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a SAGE knowledge profile in our SAGE video collection. First, you're going to click on our A to Z database list, then click on the letter S for SAGE, and then click on the SAGE video counseling and psychotherapy collection link. To create a profile, to be able to save searches and save and favorite videos, go ahead and click on this My Profile button in the top right. Scroll down and under I don't have a profile, click the Create My Profile button. Now you're just gonna fill out the required fields. It shouldn't take long. First and last name, email address, and a password that you will remember. Then select your country. Your university should be filled in automatically. If not, you can click this and type in Eastern Gateway Community College. You don't need to check any of these boxes. For job role, I select librarian, but you would select student. And you can leave it checked as no, don't send me any news or special offers. Then you will click save. Now that we've created our profile, we can see that I am signed in as Julia. We can click my name here, click view my profile, and you are taken to a page of my lists and my searches. And so I'm gonna show you briefly how to create a list and how to save a search. So we're first going to click this browse by collections button, click on Sage Video. Now browse Sage Video, and we're gonna look in our counseling and psychotherapy collection. If I want to search within this collection, I can click search within results. Let's say I want to search for mental health counseling. I'll click search. And you can see that we have videos that popped up. So if I wanna save this search for mental health counseling, I would click save search. I would title it whatever will help me remember the search. And I can click Save. And now, if I click back to my profile and I click My Searches, you'll be able to see this mental health counseling search that I did. And I can click to run it again, or I can click on the search itself and it will run for me again and show me the results, the same ones that I got for this search. If you want to create a list, let's say I wanted to add this video to a list, I can click this heart button to add to list. I can add it to an existing list that I have, or I can create a new list from this page. So let's call this mental health. And we're gonna save it. I'm just gonna save it as private for myself. And it says this entry was listed in the mental health list. If I click on view my profile again, I can go to my lists and you can see here that that mental health list I created is here. I have one resource in it. It's that video I added. I can show my list items directly on this page or I can click on the list and it will show me all of the items here and I can easily have a link to the video. I can click on it and watch it. So it's a really, really useful way to have a list of videos all from your profile. So thanks for watching today. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to the library. If you go to our library homepage and click on contact and hours, you'll find our email and phone numbers listed here. So thank you again for watching.